Hello guys, welcome back. Here we are again on another speed painting process. This time it is inspired by this girl. I follow her a long time on Instagram and at the time I really wanna I really want to draw her but I couldn't. I think the sketch just turned out awful so I ended up not doing so I ended up doing it so this time when she showed up again on my timeline I said it is my time to shine so this is the result and the process of it so I, this one is actually a mix from both of her photos on that post the first one I really like her hand pose and in the second one I like her expression so that is what I'm trying to do in this sketch I think at the end I ended up changing her hand because I I want one specific pose and I ended up just taking a photo of myself it is this one uh, using it for as inspiration for her hand because I think it convey more her expression this way because that is why I'm trying to work at the moment expressions it is one of my quickest points as an artist I think because I, I think all of my paintings and drawings are everyone is it is just a blank face it is a poor face I don't know why uh, I, I know why it's because I suck at expression I suck at expression but uh, that's why I'm trying to practice a little bit more of it so I ended up giving her this sassy face I don't know how to call it but I like it that much the result that I ended up doing a little animation of it and I hope I can show it to you at the end I, I think it looks really cool here I am starting with the liner I'm going just to explain a little bit of the process I start with a sketch just like the idea I want to do and then I start with the liner I am giving her like this really thick eyeliner because I really want to give her this eager aesthetic vibe I, I hope everyone know what it is it is like a weird mix between this Harajuku friend from Japan and God theme things it, like it is soft but cool at the same time right now because TikTok is on trend and I just I fell on that rabbit hole a week ago and now I am addicted to it I am just spending like two hours a day on that app I think I am pretty sure that it's unhealthy as hell but I think it, it is the app that has the funniest content at the moment not even YouTube uh, I'm sorry guys Johnson you are great but the guys on TikTok are just, are just insane man I, I have uh, mm, I haven't had I haven't found an app like that one that has made me laugh out loud because I uh, my most reaction on every app is like <laughs> that is funny but <laughs> I mean I, I found like crazy I also helpful helpful I, I have found a lot of life hacks and silly things on on like YouTube tips on on how to see transcripts and stuff and stuff like that and I just think it is really cool if you have nothing better to do you can check it out no one is paying me for this hope I wish but I just wanted to share that experience with you so that is what I have been doing in this time that I have nothing better to do because you know quarantine but actually next week next week I'm starting uni it is only online classes I know but I, if I vanish from one day to another from the internet that is what happened just letting you guys know in advance that maybe the content it is a little bit slower to pop up on your Instagram thing or on here on YouTube even because I am trying to keep this channel alive 
but I just have to prior prioritize my responsibilities in life when such big words from my part but I hopefully will be able to at least do one or two illustrations every week hopefully uh, I only have two two classes actually uh, no I was expecting two and three but my schedule couldn't I wasn't able to fit it in the third one so and maybe I have a little bit more of a free time hopefully I, I am not that uh, this uh, that vanish from the from everything so I don't know you, you have you just have to stay tuned from me anyways here I am starting the the coloring from the illustration I I I like to do line art because I can then just select with the one from Photoshop the borders and just do this flat thing this flat base of just one color and then be selecting everything I know that is going to have a different color like her hair or the sh or the shadows and I think that is why I am a little bit faster now than I was before because I just select everything I want to do with a simple uh, uh, wiggle base color this time is a grayish one and then I just play around with the blending modes and also that control U window you can change the saturation and hue this one as you can see so uh, that is something useful, useful you might use for yourself if you draw also here I am adding a little bit of white on this hair clip things I am like I, I like so much that this trend is back because I think it was really fun when I was little on the 2000s and I am happy that it came back so uh, this is what I'm doing and this like I said I wanted to give her this eager thing and they are characteristic for having tons and tons of blush so I, I like to play a lot with makeup with when I'm doing this kind of paintings because I think it is really fun how many outfits and things she can have uh, on just one single illustration I think it is really cool and here I'm just adding the highlights because I always forgot to draw the white thing from the eyes for some reason and someone point that out and I am just petrified right now that <laughs> I it is like the first thing I do now like I said now I'm adding the liner I think this is was the moment when this was the moment when I really started liking how the illustration was going because I think it's really cool this uh, pink and blue combo I really like this type of color palette even though I ended up changing the background I ended up changing you want to say that because when you're, you can see it on the top right corner on the uh, little a square I don't know how to call it that you can't appreciate her silhouette from afar if you like seeing the illustration like real little I, I am right now like I said changing the color I was starting to think I could use this yellow one like the three primary colors yellow blue and red ish pink but I ended up going with this blue, this electric blue, because I think you can see more contrast with her skin color and you can see her better what she is doing from far away. So that is just something helpful you might take in yourself. You can shrink the illustration and if you can see her or his silhouette or X silhouette that the thing you're doing, I think that is something good because the message is being conveyed even if the illustration is really little like on the screen or like the thumbnail from this video so that is what why what i try to do most of the time here i actually ended up changing something and it is her lip color because i i think it look way cooler with 
this black uh, lipstick I think uh, it is the perfect point from emo meets kawaii things I think it looks really cool I am not part of neither of those subgenders of style so don't come after me for saying things you might not relate to but uh, that is it, it is just art it, it is just a dry man don't <laughs> don't come for me from this to be silly commentary so that's why I, what I did I hope you like the finished result I think it, she looks really cool and you're going to see the, the animation right now by the way remember to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel please let me know in the comments what you want me to draw next and I might take suggestions from it have a nice day Stay safe, please. Goodbye.